So if I might just summarise for a minute, instead of a one-size-fits-all approach, you will lift your response rates by targeting contacts based on profile and preferences. However, there is a third type of segmentation that is only possible with online marketing and is by far the most powerful. So if you want to send response rate soaring, segment your database and target individuals based on how they have responded to your past marketing campaigns. This type of segmentation is known as behavioural segmentation and in essence it means targeting individuals based on their click behaviour in emails, on websites and responses to mobile marketing campaigns. So this is an example of how you can build up a segment tree and include contact profile, preferences and responses to market, previous marketing. The types of things you might want to do with this, you might want to send a cross-sell offer to a customer who's opened an email, clicked through to your website and converted. Or you might want to make a different type of offer to prospects who've opened an email but didn't click through and convert. Or you might want to re-engage lapsed prospects, inactives, that haven't opened an email in the past three months. And the way you can do that most successfully is to use other channels, such as SMS or direct mail, to re-engage them. So in this way, behavioural segmentation is one of the best things you can do to penetrate into your database. Now on top of that, it also gives you up to the minute information on what each and every subscriber is currently interested in. People's needs change over time. Preference centres go out of date, but by tracking where people click on websites and emails, you will be able to see what their current interests are. So this form of ongoing or dynamic segmentation will allow you to always send the right message to the right people. Now wouldn't it be lovely if you could send it at the right time as well and fulfil Kotler's vision? And um, Well, online marketing now gives us that capability. A triggered message is one that is automatically generated based on a meaningful change in your contacts, behaviour or profile. The, the simplest example of that um, is the, the funnel that every prospect goes through before they become a customer. There was research done by the Bridge Group in December of last year and it showed that on average a prospect requires seven touches by sales and marketing people before it becomes a customer. So in a B2B environment you may want your prospects to find you with a Google AdWord, to visit your website, uh, download a, a white paper that's linked into where they are in their buying cycle, maybe attend a webinar, and then maybe request a sales visit. Um, but I'm going to take a, a different example for illustrative purposes. So let's say we have an online retailer, and there are six stages that we want people to go through before they become a customer. And unfortunately, at each of those stages, there are leakage. So let's say someone clicks on an email, visits the website, looks at a few pages, goes to the order form, and abandons just when they're asked for their credit card details. So by automatically triggering an email at that point that re-emphasizes the benefits, makes an offer to complete, uh, and tells them how easy it is to complete the process, you can improve your conversion rate. And a small change in the conversion rate at each of those abandoned points will have a huge overall impact on the return you're getting for your marketing spend.